Okay, welcome to this DCG question. Okay, question A2 of the 2022 deferred exam paper. So, we've got the image below shows the bridge with a parabolic supporting arch. The drawn on the right shows the axis AA1, so the major axis, directrix DD1, the focus, and the line of eccentricity. Two points on the curve, P and Q, okay, are shown. Locate the vertex. And then 10 additional points and uh, draw the curve on the, uh, on the curve and draw the parabola. Now, just looking at this, I wouldn't imagine that they're going to be asking for 10 or additional ordinates. I'd say they're looking for five additional ordinates and five points on the left and on the right. Now, so to get our focus or to get our vertex, locate the vertex. Something you can do in every conic section is go back at 45 degrees to hit the line of eccentricity and then go parallel to the directrix or perpendicular to the major axis to get the vertex. Now for a parabola, okay, the distance from F to B, the vertex always lies on the half of that. And the line of eccentricity is always, okay, a half or the line of eccentricity is always at 45 degrees. Now, I just want to locate P and Q, okay, on the opposite sides. So, here's Q. And P is on the opposite side there. Now, this line runs from F parallel to directrix. Okay, this is the lattice rectum. This is our lattice rectum. And how you would find a point okay, on the parabola is draw a line out at any distance from the directrix. Okay, when it hits the line of eccentricity, bring it parallel to the axis and then re stop it when it reaches the lattice rectum. Put your compass on F and swing your compass back till it touches that ordinate that's parallel to the directrix. So we have located the vertex and now we have to get 10 additional points on the parabola. So it's always good practice to locate one between V and F. Okay, you can be awarded okay, four marks for that or lose four marks. So just going to put it roughly halfway between B and F. Now, then I'm going to go these distances here. They're, I'm going to make them roughly every 10. They don't have to be every 10. Okay, they could be on even numbers. Could be 10, 20, and 5, and 5. Now, so I mark them every 10 there. Now I'm going to draw a line parallel to the directrix until we hit the line of eccentricity. So parallel to the directrix until we hit the line of eccentricity. Now, once they hit the line of eccentricity, we're going to bring them parallel to the major axis, AA1, until they hit our lattice rectum. Okay, and then I'm going to do the, sa the same from the right our point there in between B and F. Now I'm going to get the compass, I'm going to put the compass onto okay, the line that's parallel to the axis and swing back to the line that is parallel to the directrix. And where that hits, there's a point on the parabola. So look, I brought my compass to this line that's parallel to the axis. And I swing it back to the line that's parallel to the directrix. Now, same there. I'm going to go to the next one. And I'm actually just going to label these to make it all right better. So B, C, D, E. So I'm going to put my compass onto F. Bring B back to the part that's the line or ordinate that's parallel to the directrix. Now on C, put my compass here on C, and swing back to there, 
and then onto the opposite side, go to D. There we have it there. Now, so I have one, two, three, four. Okay, so I've done four additional points there. So I want to do just one more. So it doesn't matter the distance between them. So let's do one here. Now, I'm going to go up there, I've got my points in the tablet, and I'm going to freehand sketch these points onto it. I just have to finish off D. And then I'm just going to pause and half okay draw a tangent to the curve at point P now the, the way we're going to do it is a method common to all conic sections so I'm going to join T2S okay now I'm going to draw a line at 90 degrees to line P to S from okay the focus I'm drawing a line at 90 degrees. Now, normally you just use your set square here. Just have a little band here at the bottom of my table. It's going to interfere with that. So I draw this line through. So that's at 90 degrees. Okay, now, so this hits the directrix. We're going to join this back to point P. So here's our tangent. And then we can draw in our normal. Good habit to draw in our normal. Right, that's the question done. Let's look to everyone do um, who just finished their first even third exam today, and best of luck in the upcoming exams. And um, if you look at the description, you can see a number, a WhatsApp business number. If you want, okay, help in DCG. Okay, thank you. Cheers. Bye bye.